Hey guys, welcome back to Corvallop. So, decided to do something a little bit different today because don't like always doing the same thing over and over again or just working on the same thing. Kind of spontaneous and a little lazy sometimes with some of my projects. It just starts to fade away, but that's a different story. I um, actually wanted to work on a bit of a puzzle. I guess a coding puzzle in this case. It's called FizzBuzz. I know some of you guys, if you guys probably watch my videos on my channel, um, you heard of FizzBuzz. If you haven't, FizzBuzz is pretty much an algorithm, algorithm that you need to create where if it's divisible, if um, you do a for loop, doesn't need to be a, doesn't need to be a certain length. One it needs to be big enough, but I'll explain. So if it's like divisible by one number, whatever the for loop does goes through so it's like say if it's divisible by two um, you print out fizz then if it's divisible by another number and just to make up some number four as well um, divisible by four you print out fuzz so if it's divisible by two and four you print out fizz buzz and anything else you just don't print out anything to the console so that's pretty much the name of the game and just try to do this in the most like best big old notation I guess but it's pretty straightforward kind of the first thing first things I've ever did with C sharp so cool I just started out and let me show you what I'm gonna do about it I think there's a couple different ways to figure this out um, I like doing it a certain way but this is let me just show you the kind of the mo the way most people finish this so let's do length 20 of our make fizz divisible number be 2 just for testing purposes e even numbers it's not not even well yeah in this case even but easy numbers just uh easily figure out what's going on and let's create a new uh, static method static void foot uh fizz buzz Give it a couple parameters. Oh. Int length. Um, and buzz. Cool. Oh, let's make these ends. A uh, cool little trick I learned recently is I think you can like control shift. No. What? How do you do it? I guess you can't do it without being sharper. Womp womp. I swear you can do this. Oh well. Just can't remember right now. But I think in resharper you can like edit multiple lines at once. So I could just change all these as ints instead. I know it's a JavaScript thing at least. Cool. Then we want to call this function fizz buzz fizz buzz and give it all the right things. And um, I get in. So it's pretty much just three if statements the way I'm going to do it right now. Um, the way you want to do your if statements is cool, perfect. I equals zero. Is oh yeah, but back to the if statements. The way you want to do your if statements is least likely to most likely, just because so it's always gets catched. Well, in this case, so. Case I divisible by is zero. And I divisible by buzz is zero. Oh, let's do modulus. 
So there we go. Then we want to print out. White line is was. So I've been doing JavaScript lately, so <laughs> I almost said console log and all that jazz. But let's just copy this and make three if statements. And I believe that should do it. Um, we can check our work in just a second here. Um, oh yeah, um, this was. And I like writing. Just so we know which number we're at and we can double check our work a little bit easier even though it's just two and four and the last one just print out the number itself so Cool, and I believe that should do it. So let's just run it and see what happens. Um, cool, says buzz at zero. That's not good, because that is definitely not divisible by either one of those. Fizz buzz two. Fizz fizz buzz. Fizz fizz buzz. Fizz fizz buzz. Fizz, and it stopped at nineteen. Cool, that's a length of 20. Seems like it's, ooh, yeah, yep. It looks like it's fine and dandy and actually working as expected, which is good, except for the zero. So we gotta deal with that real quick. And so how, what's the best way to deal with that without just, um, Ignoring zero. Do -do. So we'll just do it that way. And so we'll do it buzz. I think that would solve our issue. It's the same thing on the other side. We'll test it in just a second. Start it up. Oh, start without debugging. Bump up zero greater than zero. Mm -hmm. Hmm. This is a pretty simple fix. I'm just struggling right now. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> Don't be too rough to me in, down in the comments, but if you haven't subscribed, Please like and subscribe um, or hit that bell button just to know when I, there's new videos up. Dang, why is that?
bump bump. I guess I'll just do that for now until I figure out something better. Yeah, that's obviously going to fix the issue. Oh, whoops. Control F5. Wait, what? What? I think I know how to do this. Hmm, I think there's a way to do this with just manipulating I somehow in this case. So I add. Oh man. that solve it? I might not need this part. Alright, let's just I might do a little bump bump. Okay, I think this would solve it. So if it's less than zero, or either one is least or zero. Well, boom. Uh -huh. No, still not true. All right, what am I doing wrong here? So it's zero. False, false, false. I make it true. Why did I do that to begin with? Something is. Ah, I need to do these for each individual one. Aha, I found a bug. I found the bug. Yes, very nice. Very good. All right, and I believe I need to do the same thing here. Just don't care about this part of it. Do another one though. 
the same thing for the next one. It's not Biz, it's Buzz. Buzz Lightyear from Circanan. Right? Cool, perfect. So let's see what happens when we make one zero. There should be one for each one, right? Maybe? It should be a fizz for each individual one if we make fizz, but we we'll shall find out. Uh, I'm sorry about that, buddy. Sorry, guys. Tempted to buy, divide by zero. So that's not possible because we can't. Yeah, because now that makes sense because it's it's dividing, giving you the remainder. Pretty much, that's what uh, modulus does. And you can't divide by zero. So, as expected. And, cool. Now I know. I uh, never ran into that bug before, actually. Usually it's a lot more straightforward. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Um, if you know a better way, comment down below. But, this is pretty much the basic example of what most people do without this else. Um, just pretty much to teach you to think it out clearly because um, and just order of operation type thing it's pretty fun um, definitely had a good time uh, making this as when trying to figure out how it all works but let's do a different one uh, here's my way of how I like doing this so instead of having this first step statement, I could just get rid of it completely. Oh, let's comment this out. <gasps> and just like doing console dot right, console dot right. Let's do this in the beginning. I believe that's really all you need to do for this case. And we can test it out to see if it works. Um, I might be forgetting some little thing. No, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, small bone. Do this is new line of beginning. All right. Let's get rid of that because we don't need that. Two fizz, 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 fizz. Oh, bump, bump. Didn't mean to need. Each one is their own if statement, obviously, because. You don't want to just do one or the other. Cool. Perfect. That's exactly what I expected. And yeah, and that's pretty much how I like doing this, doing it this way. Um, just so it's pretty much, I don't have to do that extra if statement, which doesn't really matter in my opinion. It's still as fast. Not like you're gonna lose a lot of speed doing that, but cool. Yeah, this is my version of figuring out FizzBuzz, just using power of the just other things other than just the if statements. Um, let me know what you guys think about this as a solution too. Um, I find it kind of interesting. Um, took me a little while to figure that out. Um, kind of brain dead. <laughs> But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, feel free to throw out other challenges, or other ideas. I'm thinking about doing more stuff like this, just because it's a little bit funner, and I like puzzles personally. Um, this one was really easy though. It's 
nothing like too difficult. You just gotta know some little bit of code. But thank you for watching again, and I hope you look forward to the next videos. Peace.